prepare whatever you are doing, either in a cavity, in the abdomen, or um, just you don't know how to open the tissue. Minimal access surgery. That machine is also at the IBB. And in the recent time, uh, an additional X-ray has been provided. Digital X-ray has been provided at the IBB uh, to improve uh, the provision of services. The new netto wing of MENA General Hospital and other tertiary health institutions in the state have equally received a boost. A lot has been done to be able to improve that. The number of women who actually go into the hospital to deliver has increased. Um, you, have more, you have more women be, and children being having access to health care than it, that they had before. Wife of the Niger State Governor, a consultant obstetrician and gynecologist with a master's degree in public health and an advocate for the reproductive health rights of women, Dr. Amina Abubakarbello speaks. We're working in about 12 primary health care centers. Basically, what we do in those centers is we supervise the women who are pregnant in the communities that are served by that um, primary health care center. Uh, we do that by having volunteers who work together with the staff in the primary health care center to ensure women come for their antenatal visit and they come and have their babies delivered in the hospital rather than at, at, at home. That ensures that they have skilled birth attendants and it reduces significantly the amount of complications and maternal death that um, uh, we see in the state. Dr. Amina Abubakar Bello, founder of Race Foundation, a non-governmental organization whose vision is of a Nigeria where no woman dies from pregnancy-related causes, has organized several vesicle vaginal fistula VVF camps where hundreds of patients in Niger State have had free repairs and have been integrated into the society. What I've noticed the most is the increase in the number of women, because I'm speaking from my field, the number of women who actually present themselves to the hospital and who deliver safely in the hospital, that has increased significantly. Arrangement has been concluded to commence the implementation of the contributory healthcare scheme as part of efforts by the Governor Abubakar Sani Bello led administration to make available and affordable quality health care services, maintain high standard of health care, ensure efficiency of the system, and ease the hardship of the people in the payment of medical bills. The Contributor scheme entails that when you are sick or when one is sick, you cannot just go straight away to a general hospital. You will go to the primary health care facility in your domain. The administration of Abubakar Sani Bello has remained a committed partner through the consistent payment of its bilateral agreement with development partners such as WHO, UNICEF, FGN, saving one million lives for result. So I find these development partners very useful. Uh, especially because their activity is mostly uh, rural area based. With the outbreak of coronavirus COVID-19, Governor Abubakar Sanibello demonstrated a proactive sense of leadership by evolving strategies to contain the spread of the global pandemic. Governor Abubakar Sanibello constituted the state task force on COVID-19 with the secretary to the state government Ahmed Ibrahim Matani as its chairman. Uh, incidentally, Niger State you know, has been one of the uh, early uh, respondents you know, to the, uh, the coronavirus campaign. Uh, when we started, His Excellency uh, saw the need for us to impose curfew. Many people thought you know, this was too early for a state that never recorded any you know, coronavirus incident. As of today, I think that has been the saving grace. The state government reactivated its isolation center at the MENA General Hospital and isolation rooms in all hospitals across the state and disinfected public places. It also established quarantine centers in all principal towns of the state and enforced all preventive measures. To cushion the effect of lockdown, the state government distributed palliatives to the vulnerable groups across the state. Men and women of goodwill and character, as well as non-governmental organizations, supported the state government.
to contain the spread of the deadly disease. In Mina, we already have a well-equipped isolation center. Probably what we would need that we don't have in those centers is what we will take from these items. But the other items will be distributed to the other isolation centers. Governor Abubakar Sani Bello, like his first tenure, came up with a landmark initiative and is developing the Ruga model. Through the establishment of 31,000 hectares, multi-million Naira Bobi grazing Reserve to boost meat and dairy production, generate revenue and curb insecurity, especially the farmers' headers clash, which is posing a threat to the corporate existence of the country. Already, 5,000 hectares of land is being developed at the Bobi Grazing Reserve by Wamco Nigeria Limited to start the first indigenous milk production company in the country. Today at Bobby Grazing Reserve, we have some major infrastructure being provided. Uh, we're talking about uh, provision of roads, uh, health facilities, you know, for both animals and humans, uh, schools, and indeed, you know, development of pasture, you know, and water supply, you know, for pastoralists. Apart from this, Governor Abubakar Sanibello-led administration is collaborating with the federal government to sustain the CBN anchor borrower scheme towards food security and to exploit all available opportunities in the agricultural value chain. We plan to engage uh, a lot of our youth into agriculture. We have so many graduates, too many graduates, all seeking for political appointments of, or jobs. Unfortunately, the government, the size of the government is already too big. Additional tractors and implements were also purchased and distributed to local government councils to boost national policy on food security. <laughs> The main plank of Governor Abubakar Sani Bello-led administration in education has been the expansion and renewal of facilities in schools at all levels. In order to ensure the success of the universal basic education program in the state, the administration of Governor Abubakar Sani Bello commenced his second dispensation with payment of more than 1 billion Naira UBE counterpart fund to enable it access more funds for the renovation and construction of additional blocks of classrooms as well as furniture. His administration has so far accessed about 13 billion Naira following his commitment to the timely payment of counterpart fund. Having fulfilled all its obligations,